CrossFit workouts at home. You have definitely heard about CrossFit, but you may have imagined this type of activity as people throwing around heavy barbells, swinging kettlebells all over the place, and jumping up onto impossibly high boxes. At a glance, CrossFit seems to involve a lot of weights, a lot of reps, and a lot of yelling. Quite demanding on equipment, isn't it? Actually, it turns out that you don't need any of things mentioned above. What about increasing your physical strength, your stamina, balance, and flexibility? And all that without leaving your home! If you still don't know why you should be happy about hearing that, well, then this video is for you! But what is CrossFit exactly? Traditionally, it's a strength and conditioning program designed for overall physical preparedness that combines sprints with weightlifting, endurance with gymnastics, with a healthy dose of specialty disciplines like powerlifting. It's a form of high-intensity power fitness, HIPT. Such workout may include dynamic exercises like plyometric jumping, kettlebells, or explosive bodyweight movements. Still cannot decide if you need CrossFit or not, here are some advantages of these workouts. First, it helps you improve physical strength. The high-intensity, multi-joint movements in CrossFit may help you gain muscle strength and stamina. Adding more weight to your workouts can further increase muscle gain. Second, it may help you improve aerobic fitness. It means this type of training may help you increase the maximum amount of oxygen you can use during exercise. However, a corresponding research has been inconclusive on both the short and long-term effects of CrossFit on physiological changes and aerobic benefits. Third, CrossFit workouts often include functional exercises or exercises that copy movements you do in everyday life. These exercises are squats, kettlebell swings, or overhead presses, and they can help improve agility, balance, and flexibility. Fourth, it burns calories and manages weight. CrossFit workouts may help you burn more calories than other workouts. On average, a 195-pound man or 165-pound woman will burn 15 to 18 calories per minute and 13 to 15 calories per minute, respectively, during a workout. You may also continue to burn calories during the recovery period. How to get started If you think you're ready for a CrossFit challenge, at first, you should find a gym nearby. Such gyms are also called boxes. Don't forget to ask questions about everything that isn't clear for you. When working out, scale accordingly. All CrossFit movements are scaled and can be modified. Go to your own pace and remember to rest. But let's say something happened to your daily routine, something like pandemic, and you can't visit your gym anymore. Don't get sad, because we know what you can do. As we have mentioned before, CrossFit workouts are based on functional movements similar to what you do in everyday life. There are plenty of them that require only your body weight. If you'd like to bump up the intensity, add some dumbbells or kettlebells. If you're a beginner or you simply don't have any weights at home, try household objects like uh, milk jugs, canned goods, books, bags of rice or beans, filled water bottles, a happy backpack or a broom or mop. There are a lot of CrossFit in-home variations and we'll share some of them with you. The first one is called 21, 15, 9. Because you'll need to do 21 burpees, 21 thrusters, 15 burpees, 15 thrusters, 9 burpees, and 9 thrusters. It takes 15 to 20 minutes. You may add dumbbells or broom, hold it like a barbell, filled water bottles or canned goods if you want to amp up the thrusters. Here's the sequence. Complete 21 burpees and 21 thrusters, and then take a short break for 2 minutes. Thrusters combine a front squat and an overhead press, and burpees involve jumping up and then getting down into a plank position over and over. 
In the second round, do 15 reps of each movement. Take another 2 minute break before doing the final round of 9 reps of each movement. Number 2. Interval running that takes 15 to 60 minutes and requires a pair of running shoes. As you could have guessed, it's done outside. But if you have a treadmill, you don't even need to leave your home. For this workout, do 3 sets of the following. 1.5 mile run, rest for 3 minutes. 1.25 mile run, rest for 2 minutes. 1.5 quarter mile run, and rest for 5 minutes. Running is a great form of cardio and gets the heartbeat pumping. Your lower body muscles and endurance will really reap the benefits. Number 3. 5 rounds for time. It takes as much time as you need to complete 5 rounds. It's preferable to use a jump rope, but if you don't have any, use your imagination. Make sure you're moving your arms like you would if you were actually holding a jump rope. Complete regular 15 sit-ups followed by 30 double-unders, jump roping with the rope going under twice, or classic jump rope and then 15 air squats, which involve pretending to sit down in an invisible chair, followed by 30 double-unders or regular jump ropes. Do 5 rounds. Your endurance and lower and upper body strength will improve with this workout. Number 4. Annie. For this one, you'll perform 50 reps of double unders, then 40, then 30, 20, and 10. Next step is 50 reps of sit ups, then 40, then 30, 20, and 10. Double unders, which involve swinging a jump rope around your body twice during every jump, are a fire way to get your heart pumping. If you have difficulties, just count regular jump rope skips or hop completely rope free. And number 5. Death by Burpees For this workout, start a timer and perform the designated number of burpees at the top of every minute. Minute 1, 1 burpee. Minute 2, 2 burpees. Minute 3, 3 burpees. Continue adding a burpee each minute until you can't burpee anymore. Which one would you like to try right now? Maybe you know some more great CrossFit variants that you do at home? Comment about it below! CrossFit is a high-intensity form of exercise. You should remember that your risk for injuries increases any time you increase the intensity of your workout or the amount of weight you're lifting. CrossFit isn't safe for everyone. If you're pregnant and already practicing CrossFit, it may be fine to continue but make sure to talk to your doctor first. If you are pregnant and new to CrossFit, you shouldn't wait until after your pregnancy to start. CrossFit isn't safe if you are injured or have other serious health concerns either. Make sure you talk to your doctor first or work with a physical therapist before starting CrossFit. Some common CrossFit injuries include Low back pain, rotator cuff tendonitis, Achilles tendonitis, knee injuries, tennis elbow. If you are new to CrossFit, it's a good idea to work with a professional that can make sure you're doing the exercise properly. You don't have to worry about what your fitness level is. Everything's scaled down to whatever you need it to be, but then when you finish your workout, it's like, Everybody's breathing hard, everybody worked, worked just as hard, and everybody's cheering everyone else on. After that, you'll be able to do the exercises at home easily. Having improper form, trying to move through exercises too quickly, or lifting more than you can handle can all lead to injury. Beginners should go at a slower pace and increase weight gradually until your fitness level improves. That's it! Thank you for watching the video! Like it if you like it! Don't forget to subscribe to the channel in order not to miss something useful! Can you share your crossword experience with us if you have any? Do it right now in the comments below!